In December 1988, a bomb exploded on a Pan Am plane over Lockerbie in Scotland. Almost immediately, investigators and journalists pointed the finger at Syria. The bombing had been done, they said, in revenge for the Americans shooting down of an Iranian airliner in the Gulf a few months before. And for 18 months, everyone agreed that this was the truth. But then, a strange thing happened. The security agencies said that they had been wrong. It hadn't been Syria at all. It was Libya who had been behind the Lockerbie bombing. But many journalists and politicians did not believe it. They were convinced that the switch had happened for the most cynical of reasons. That America and Britain desperately needed Assad as an ally in the coming Gulf War against Saddam Hussein. So once again, they blamed Colonel Gaddafi as the terrorist mastermind. Well, Syria, of course, was unfortunately accused of many terrorist outrage and of harboring terrorist groups. It appears that we have now restored relations with them, as have the Americans. They're now our friends, although we get no real assurances on the past whatsoever. It strikes me as very strange indeed that many of the things we thought were previously the responsibility of Syria have now dramatically become the responsibility of Libya. But Assad was not really in control because he had released forces that no one would be able to control.